Hey guys, it's Dave from AMPTComics.com and we have the Typhoid Mary uh, from Marvel Legends' new Venom line, Monster Venom. This is a figure that I don't know if a lot of people wanted. I'm sure she'll pop up in the comics soon. Usually these Marvel Legends are sort of uh, scheduled around new appearances or reappearances. Um, this is a figure that I'm sure diehard uh, Marvel Legends fans are going to be really excited about. And they're probably going to be excited about this sword too, which has some flames running it, some pretty cool effects. Um, some standard uh, art on the side, which is the same on the other side. And then you've got the standard Marvel Legends photography. It makes it look pretty cool. Um, and then here are the other Builder figures, which we are also unboxing and reviewing. Um, we've already done Spider-Ham, and we've already done Carnage. Now for Typhoid Mary. And here's the Monster Venom bath. Um, get a leg in here for him. This is, let me see, get the knife. This is a figure that is, or a character, I should say, that is a Daredevil villain. Um, she's a bit per obscure. Um, kind of an assassin type. If you're doing like a Daredevil scene, I'm sure you're excited for this. So, accessory-wise, all we got is a sword, but it is a rather cool sword. I, you know, don't quote me on this, I think this might be a sword that we've seen in other figures, maybe Magic, which doesn't even come out yet, but other figures. Really nice uh, design, but check this out, it just comes right off. Oh my god, you can put it on anyone's sword. Maybe even Wonder Woman's sword. Um, it slips right through. Oh, nice fit. Um, good detail on the hilt. Looks like a samurai sword. So we've got Typhoid Mary. She's a bit of a crazy character. Um, this looks like we got the typical Marvel Legends hair. It's all one kind of plastic piece. Um, a little, I don't know if this is battle scars or she just needs to replace her stockings. <laughs> but there is a bit of detail there. Uh, looks a little funny because the skin isn't quite right, skin tone. Um, she's got a bit of a jacket. It does not come off. It's me, you know what, no. I take that back. I think you can take this off with a lot of effort. Um, it's really on there. It's snug. Um, she has also got this kind of belt choker, which is sort of glued in there. I bet you could take it off if you take your head off. Let's check. Ooh. You can. Ooh. Put that on um, Spider-Man, Mary Jane, something. Let's put her head back. So, I don't know if you can tell from the way I'm talking, but I'm not super excited for this toy. I'm, I wasn't really into this character. I'm not sure who is. Not that you, it's not cool if you are. Um, definitely uh, the figure in the bunch that, eh, I don't know, it doesn't really go, right? You've got, you've got a symbiote, you've got a kind of a symbiote killer, a poison, carnage, venom. You know, Spider-Ham can fight these guys, but her, I don't, I don't know, she's kind of a funny edition. It's a pretty good, well-made well toy. I mean, she's got the leather jacket going, got a, a nice belt, um, and then this <laughs> leg, which you could probably just pop out and replace if you ever wanted to have her have a full pair of pants. Um, let's try to pose her here. I mean, her, her iconic look really is the uh, painted face. Actually, let's look at that really close. Uh, she's got a bit of, interesting, it's like Bende Dots uh, for the makeup. Uh, it's pink. It's hard to see. And she has silver eyes. I wonder if silver eyes, typically Marvel Legends does that to sort of show off that they're a villain. I don't know. All right, and then it comes with this bath piece, which is a big Hulkin monster venom leg. Um, some veiny leg, it's a bit purple, kind of cool. So, Overall, eh, it's an okay toy. I don't know. Uh, if you really want the figure, I'm sure you'll love it. But I have a feeling a lot of people are going to see it and go, what? Who? Who? I don't know who that is. Um, it's still a, a well-made toy. I'm sure you're probably going to find it in stores. Uh, these, This wave actually just came out. Uh, this was all pre-ordered, so I might have it earlier than some. And I bet, if you like this video, please subscribe. Um, I'm going to have a full score and some pictures on amputcomics.com to sort of talk about the figure a little bit more. Um, thanks for watching.